Every great transformation begins with trust. And as Bharat steps into the clean energy era, it is building that trust, molecule by molecule. The Green Hydrogen Certification Scheme of India, launched in April 2025, ensures that every molecule of hydrogen truly deserves to be called green. It defines how hydrogen is measured, monitored, and verified, tracking its journey from production to use. Under this framework, only hydrogen produced using renewable energy and emitting no more than 2 kg of carbon dioxide per kilogram of hydrogen, qualifies as green. Each producer must be audited by verification agencies accredited by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency, bringing transparency and global credibility to India's hydrogen economy. Leading this transformation are India's oil and gas PSUs like IOCL, HPCL, BPCL, Gale, ONGC, NRL and CPCL. When the Prime Minister announced from the ramparts of the Red Fort that we are going to do green hydrogen and mission mode, it took off. That's again a very interesting story. Because today, tenders which were floated by IOCL and subsequently I think by HPCL, they have succeeded in bringing the price per kilo of green hydrogen below what was 5, it was earlier the lowest was 5.5 dollars, they brought it down to 4, in fact if you take the GST part of it out, even below that. Together developing 900 KTPA of green hydrogen capacity by 2030. Projects at Panipath, Wysak, Bina, Numaliga, and offshore clusters will replace grey hydrogen across refineries and industries, soon saving the nation 1 lakh crore rupees in fossil fuel imports and powering cleaner mobility, manufacturing, and homes. The GHCI is more than a certification, it is a guarantee of origin, a seal of integrity, sustainability, and self-sufficiency, guiding Bharat towards a future that is greener, fairer, and trusted, under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji.